Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new CZ handgun. It's been out for about eight days now. I just got my hands on it. It is available. You may have seen some reviews on it and I think it's really cool. I think you're going to like what you see in the case if you are not aware of it. It is an updated version of a previous model. So what are we talking about? Well, let me first say I like the case better already. It's a simple buckle and open. You don't have to push the side to get the case open. But this is a CZ P09 Nocturne. And the P09 that has a wonderful reputation, it's been around forever. This is a third generation of that pistol. And it comes with quite a bit in the case. We're going to talk about that. But I'm going to move this aside for now. Before we get into it, I want to make mention of this. The CZ P07 is now done. Does that mean it's discontinued? Not necessarily. It's been replaced by a CZ P09 Nocturne. And that is the compact version. So it has a shorter barrel and 15 round magazines. This is the size of the original CZ P09 with a four and a half inch barrel and 19 plus one magazine so the capacity is there the size is there definitely a full-size handgun but a lot of you may be wondering hey what is new what makes this different than the original czp09 well the nocturne has enhanced grip texturing all throughout and if you notice the p09 just pretty much had on the sides maybe a little bit here a little bit there but this has much deeper and heavier stippling all throughout. It is not aggressive, feels very good in the hand. And it also has some memory texturing right there and there. There are memory points for the, the finger or the thumb. And they had that with the PO9 as well. But they also have, this is the main difference, it is optic ready. And with a direct mount, it will fit an RMS footprint. So the Howlson K series and all of the variants that share that footprint, it will fit with the P09 Nocturne. Now, I have a dot for it. Actually, I'm going to show that. I'm going to show you what I got for this because I'm very excited to get this on. I will mention these screws are extremely tight. I'm going to have to work on that. But that, that's something that I'm going to have to do. But also, the sight picture is a little bit different. Now, you may notice that they're a bit green. The, the rear sight and the front sight, they're green. But they're actually luminescent sights. Right? So, luminescent, charged by light. My studio lights are on it. If I turn them all off, it will have a night sight effect. HK does that. Many manufacturers do that. CZ's doing it with the P09 Nocturne. All right, so that's another enhancement for this pistol. It also has forward cocking serrations, all right, that go all the way around the pistol. And I will tell you, you kind of need it because when you do press checks, that spring is still very tight. So those serrations help with that. Why is it tight? Well, it's a new pistol, that's why. But I do like the 19 round magazines, there's no doubt about that. It does have the Picatinny rail right there. It also has a slide stop that's a bit different. It has more real estate right there to operate the slide stop. So when the slide is locked back, just push that down and it just is, is a cleaner fit. If that's even a way of saying it, but it is. It's easier to use than trying to find that lever and use gravity to pull it down. Also, it ships with a decocker. The decocker is ambidextrous, right? And, and I choose the decocker over the thumb safety. But if we look into the case, you will notice that it also has... Two additional back straps, another 19 round magazine, and this is something I haven't seen before. They offer a dummy round, and it has that green piece in there in place of the primer, and they even give you extras of those. So that's that's rather different. I've seen dummy rounds, I just have not seen them included. And then here is 
the thumb safety. If I wanted to, I could switch out the decocker with the thumb safety and go that route. But I've, I've done the opposite, actually. In the past, with my P07 duty, many years ago, I, I changed the thumb safety for the decocker. Paperwork, bore brush, patch tool, and everything that I mentioned in the case. With a very much nicer case. I, I certainly like that better. The handgun itself is full size. Now, if you go with the P09... C for compact, and by the way, that says F right there. Can we see that? Perhaps I'll insert a picture. But this is the F for full size. But if you go with the other one, it's going to look similar to this, just shorter. And that was, was once called the P07. Not anymore. It's all the P09. I think CZ's trying to simplify this. I want to do a little size comparison with my discontinued CZ. SP01 Phantom because this was discontinued and I think it was discontinued because this not the Nocturne but the CZ P09 was a hot product and I think it still is now that it's optic ready they're updating it and making it even better you can see the curved trigger on there slight curve not anywhere near as much as the SP01 Phantom but here we have four and a half inch barrels the SP01 goes a little bit longer. I guess you can't see it there. Perhaps it doesn't. I don't know, but you can certainly see the slide serrations going across. And one of the reasons why I believe that CZ doesn't or hasn't done much with optics is because look at very little area to work with here. So this is much wider and the smaller RMSC, RMS footprint will work with that. The MSRP on this is very attractive. You're looking at you are looking at 549 and that is a very nice touch for a new release from CZ. Now let's talk about the trigger before I get it on the scale. You're looking at a four pound single action trigger. Well, it'd help if I drop the mag. A four pound single action trigger with a reset similar to the CZ SP01 Phantom, okay? It's a 75 series trigger. It's an Omega trigger, which is superior. A lot of people love that. I love that. Now the double action is heavy as the original was. So that, that really hasn't changed. But the enhancements that I talked about tells me that it did change it a little bit. Let me go ahead and take this down. We'll push this pin out. It is tight. I will tell you, it is tight. I may need to grab my pocket knife here because I got it wedged out a little bit. I'm not going to scratch the frame at all. Glass, well, it's there. There we go. All right, so here we have a single recoil spring, three point or 4.5 inch barrel correction there and there is the slide and there's a look at the fiber fiberglass enhanced frame okay fiberglass enhanced polymer frame if i could get that right we're going to get it on scale here and then we'll take this full length frame rails remains true And then we'll bring it back. I, I like to put the pin in first and then move it back just a little bit and then sink it in there. The unloaded weight with the P09 Nocturne is, let's see what it is. One pound, 14 and a quarter ounces. Here are, well, let's move it to just ounces. 30 and a quarter ounces, 19 rounds. We're looking at 38 and a quarter. I don't have another round. I guess I'll throw that dummy round on there. And we're looking at, well, approximately 38 and a half ounces, okay? But just for fun, let's go ahead and throw this SP-01 Phantom on there. 37 and a quarter. So about an ounce heavier with the P09 Nocturne. I think a lot of people are going to like it. I think it's priced right. You look online and you try to score one of these already and you'll see that the prices are all over the board many are at 
MSRP. Some are a little bit discounted. Some are higher, which is common with many of the new release handguns. I like that magazine release. I think that is well positioned. You don't have to change the grip. It sticks out a little bit, so that works. The trigger action is nice. A little bit of a, a little bit of a, right there you think it's going to break, but it goes back just a hair. I don't know if you were able to see that, but I think it's going to break in just fine. Do I think it needs a break in period? No, I do not think that at all. Do I think that it will smooth out and loosen up just a hair over time? Of course it will. Every gun does over time. They ship from the factory rather tight, but there it is. It's that new CZ that many people are talking about, and I'm going to get this to the range with my optic, and I'll show you if this performs as well as the original CZ P09. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.